I'm uh, taking the SIE and having the hardest under time uh, understanding calls and puts. So, Tay, I'm going to try and get permission. I just did a tutoring session with somebody for the SIE, uh, and they wanted to talk about options. We did an hour, and I think I covered everything that would be found on your SIE with the exception of strategies. Now, uh, in his case, he's going on to take a Series 6. And I told him, well, it doesn't matter because, you know, if you can get past the, the SIE, there's maybe four or five option questions. Most of them are recognition. Like when do options expire? You know, how does the OCC assign exercise notices? Index options settle in cash. The uh, option agreement has to be back within 15 days. That is the vast majority of the option questions you're going to encounter on the SIE. Maybe a strategy or two question. If you tell me you missed your mark on your SIE because of that, I'd say, yeah, you had bigger problems. I will link to my introduction to options lecture, which I think is sufficient for the SIE. And I'll put that in the video description. But where I think, Tay, a lot of people get hung up is they think there's a zillion types of things going on. There's not. There's only two types of contracts, calls and puts. You can either buy them or sell them. And so that means we have four basic option positions. So, Tay, uh, option contracts exist outside of the securities industry. So let me give you an example of a call contract outside of the securities industry. You know, I went to this car dealer and I said to the car dealer, I said, listen, I'd like to give you $3,000. He said, well, what's the catch? You know, people don't give you money unless there's some kind of catch. I said, for this $3,000, what I'd like to be able to do is call away from you. I would like a choice to buy the first one of those cars off the boat from Japan on a win issued basis. He said, well, Dean, the manufacturer's suggested retail price is 24. I said, well, if I thought you would sell that to me for 24, I wouldn't be offering you $3,000 right now. So he says, okay, now I'm going to want something in written form from him. I car dealer agree to sell said vehicle for 25 grand in consideration of the three. That's a call contract. I have a choice to call the car away at 25. That's the strike price. Anyways, uh, several weeks later, he called me. He said, Dean, the car is here and I'd wanna, I want to talk to you. I said, cool, I'm on my way. He's in Long Beach. I'm in San Francisco. And I get there and he says, Dean, I just had an offer for 32. I said, wow. I said, I have a choice to buy it for 25. And now you just told me it's worth 32. Wow. My contracts were $7,000. I paid three. And he said, yeah, Dean, what I, what I wanted to see is, would you be willing to trade that contract back to me? I would like to extinguish the obligation I have to you. And I said, well, unfortunately, the answer is no, because I want the car. So I am exercising my contract. So I paid twenty five for the car, three thousand dollars for the option. So my break even is twenty eight. Now the distinction, Tay, is that in SIE the underlying interest isn't going to be an automobile. It's going to be a stock. But the same general idea, right? I pay three points to be able to call away a stock at twenty five. You know, if it's twenty eight, I break even. Higher than twenty eight, thirty two, I make four points. Uh, we have put contracts outside the securities industry. Oh, by the way, I just noticed that you said in all the math. On the SIE, there is no math. I mean, maybe one break even, maybe one, and you could guess B, assign it to the universe, and you'd be fine. So, you know, don't overdose on options as it relates to the SIE. Be careful what I just said as it relates to the SIE. I have some ladies I'm working with today on their SIE, and they're going on to a seven. In their case, I said, well, we should suck it up and make pay the price now because we don't want to kind of wobbly on the SIE. Here's an example of a put contract. Uh, I was going to lease a high-end automobile. And the car dealer told me that at the end of the lease, the car is going to be worth 60000 or more. I go, really? I said, I don't believe that since I'm the guy who's going to be driving the car around. You and I have opposite expectations about the price of this car at the end of the lease. He goes, well, yeah. I go, I'd like to give you $4,000. I'd like to pay you a premium. He says, well, what's the catch? You know, people give you money unless there's some kind of catch. 
I said, well, listen, for this $4,000, I would like the choice to sell, a choice to put the car to you at the end of the lease for $60,000. He said, well, Dean, what if it's uh, 60 or higher? I go, well, obviously, if I can sell this car in the auto trader for 70, I ain't going to stick it to you at 60. And he says, okay. So I'm going to want a written contract. I, car dealer, agree to uh, buy said vehicle at the end of the lease. That's important. I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. At the end of the lease for 60. So let's say it's the end of the lease, then the car is 40 grand. And he says, I wonder if Dean's going to show up today. Absolutely. He says, Dean, you're making me pay 60 for a car that's only worth 40. I go, absolutely. I said, you know, he's going to say, I'm going to lose 20. I go, no, I gave you four. You get to keep that. You're only down 16. You know, by the way, the end of the lease means that option example I gave you there today is test question European style. Please note, I couldn't show up anytime and make him give me $60,000. Now, that would be the same as if we were talking about a 60 put on a stock for four. A 60 put on the stock at four would be 56. At 40, I'd make 16 points. The distinction is in the exam, the underlying interest is going to be a stock or an index or something like that. But again, for your SIE, I wouldn't worry too much about that. And I will link in the video description. I think, Tay, you may be uh, joining us for, I don't recognize you from our our other Tuesday ritual live stream Q and A's. And what we do, Tay, is I link in the video description, anything I discuss with you. So here you'll find in the, you know, not, I might not do it tonight because of lecture night, I mean, but within 24 hours, I'll put it that way. I will put a link in the video description to the full blown video for whatever it is, right? So check that out. 